Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360. I'm Ed Robledo, and today I'll be showing you all about the new features that have been added to Fusion 360 Electronics in this latest update. First, I'd like to give all of you that participate on our active Fusion 360 Electronic forums a very big thank you. Thank you for giving us the feedback to make Fusion 360 Electronics even better. Our team of developers and our support team have been monitoring your requests and taking action. In this latest update, many of the improvements are based on your forum recommendations. Without further ado, let's review our updates. I'll begin with the improved spline capability. We already had a spline feature, but editing was rather challenging since the spline was split up into very small segments, making it really difficult to fine tune the desired shape. It is common to delete the spline to redraw it. Now, selecting an existing spline will show you the control points of the spline, so making changes just got a lot easier. I'll continue working with the splines, just for a bit longer. Many of us will prefer to use the spline option in the Fusion 360 design workspace. As you know, the enclosed sketch profiles can be easily adopted by the Fusion 360 PCB editor. Editing the spline in the PCB editor will now give you a lot more control since it adopted all the control points and construction lines reference for a better outline. Adapting non-conventional PCB outline just got a lot easier. The team of librarians have come through with another set of commonly used components. In this update, look for the LED library. Notice that it now contains the most popular chip flat top and round top standard LEDs such as the 0402s, 0603s with the RGBY color variants. I would like to give our team of librarians a big shout out. Keep up the great work. Now making your PCB shine just got a lot easier. Let's move over to the library editor itself. The Fusion 360 library editor must be one of the most comprehensive component editors currently available, and our developing team continue making it easier to use and extending its capabilities. In this version, launching the package editor will automatically open up the IPC compliant package generator. From here, you can select the template you need for that next component required for your next design. Since we're in the package generator, let's take a look at another feature. When creating a diode such as an LED, the footprint pad names will now adopt the anode and cathode initials, making it easier to identify its polarity in the footprint editor. So you will no longer have to guess the diode polarity in their PCB. Now, when assigning 3D models to your footprints, you would be prompted to reuse existing models. This prompt actually created some level of confusion. Now, what we did is that we've added this option directly on the context menu. Reusing existing models in the library eliminate the need to reinsert components. Remember, you could use Fusion 360 3D models or step files to map your footprints. When creating a managed library using Fusion 360 would prompt errors if external 3D models were being referenced to the footprint. Severing the 3D model link would allow you to generate the managed library. Managing your library expands the library accessibility between Eagle and Fusion 360 users. This has been fixed, so generating your managed library will work just fine. A big thanks to our forum users' feedback. We have made improvements to our interface. That way you can now have the print option in all electronic editors and access the reposition attribute commands through the document draw menu. Based on your feedback, we've also added the pin swap and gate swap access from the modify pull down menu. This feature allows you to control which gate is best to use to optimize signal access on the PCB. With gate swap and pin swap, you could swap within the component or other component gates that have the exact same swap level. Remember, those options are available on the context menu as well. Lastly, when working in Fusion 360 Electronic, it is often that you have the PCB, the schematic, and the 3D PCB simultaneously open, while making changes and switching tabs would keep your design files unsaved. Many of us would use the electronic document to save since it cascades to all of the electronic editors. With this update, now 
you'll be able to save in any of the editors and all unsaved editors that are currently open will be saved as well. The design file version will update according to the latest edit. Thank you for joining us and have a great day. All this and more with Fusion 360.